Good morning, my name is Benedict Böhm. I'm a CEO of DunaFit, that's the world market leader of ski touring equipment. And in my second life, I'm a ski mountaineer, an extreme ski mountaineer. I speed climb the highest peaks in the world and I ski them down. And I do that in order to reduce my risk in the death zone, in the so-called risk zone. So I spend less time there. And I went through many situations and the current situation of this corona virus reminds me a little bit of my of one of my expeditions to Manaslu. Manaslu is the eighth highest peak in the world, um, 8163 meters high. And that mountain um, stands just very alone in the middle of the Nepalese um, wilderness and it is beautiful but it attracts any clouds and therefore it has heavy snowfalls for weeks and weeks and weeks and I remember an expedition where we were last left on the mountain and we were just um, digging snow every day every minute every 10 minutes and we were prisoned to our base camp not only to the base camp but also even to our tents and everything was wet and cold and and we couldn't do anything we were locked in base camp we couldn't go down we couldn't go up or the summit target got further and further away and i was angry and i i was frustrated and i i don't know i i just thought about all the money and time i wasted and about my family back home and and why how stupid i am and and whatsoever and i yeah i didn't i couldn't cope with that situation and i didn't accepted and I came back home very frustrated we even had to turn around a couple of hundred meters before the summit and and in the end yes we failed we couldn't make the summit and due to avalanche risk and it took me five years to go back to that mountain but then with a total different mindset um, I really and that's the beautiful word about mindset I really set my mind differently I knew this might happen again and I might have to accept the situation. And so also in the meanwhile, um, I did different expeditions and I also accepted many different things, no matter if it was that I was off to base camp again or that I um, had so much pain, which I had to just accept as a friend and not to fight it. And I think it's a little bit the same with that um, situation we are currently in right now. I mean, we can either fight it and be frustrated or we can accept it and, and see the good things out of it and say, okay, um, what do I do? And the second time in Manaslu, we had exactly the same situation. Snowfall came again and I just took every day and even it was snowing and, and, and crazy and nonstop um, bad weather. I just um, made my way up um, all the time to, to another peak, um, just around the corner to a little one to camp one and I just I just got my head free and I thought about it and I, I accepted the situation. And then even later on, um, an avalanche came and killed 11 people and we were the only ones right next to that um, massive battlefield because we were sleeping in camp two. And there was again a, a massive setback in, in all that expedition. Um, that was then again five years later. We were trying to rescue people. We um, worked the entire day. The summit was suddenly far away from from our summit dreams. We suddenly were in the middle of 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 a disaster. But even then, when I was back down in base camp and and most people left and went back home, and also our expedition um, split in half, so three went back home and and three stayed. Um, I also went back to my tent and I I was so aware and so conscious that um, the only one who is able to take that decision right now and to really react to the circumstances is myself. And it's a little bit like the like the bamboo, you know, the bamboo goes down if, if there's wind and storm, but then it comes up again once the weather is fine. And I and I said uh, Six days later, and I was really looking for that positive energy. Um, 
I tried to find people around me who, who really who were seeing the yes instead of the no and, and the chances instead of the maybe um, the risks. And they said uh, there was an Ecuadorian mountaineer who said, "Hey, Benny." You can do it. You go up. Come on. Um, you make it. You 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 have been here five years ago. You invested so much time and 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 do it. And then six days later, um, I started and uh, yeah, and I made it in record time to the summit in 23 and a half hours. Um, I was up and down, and after 15 hours up, and after 23 and a half hours down, I lost six kilograms within these 23 and a half hours. And also here, it was just um, waiting for a chance. One thing is clear, the situation goes over sooner or later. And yes, we might lose money, we might lose even more, we might lose um, even, yeah, maybe even somebody out of our family who's, um, who, who we don't know yet or it already happened. But whatever happens this time will go past and there will be another yeah, another time afterwards and it's about setting the mind towards it and, and the right attitude. I cannot remain with the same gear. This is what I learned at least that I cannot remain with the same gear all the time. You know, if you go flat all the time but suddenly there comes a steep mountain, I cannot go in a sixth gear up upwards that mountain. I have to go in the in the first gear. And it's not only about mind setting, it's also about mind switching. So switching the mind towards a sit different situation. We cannot change the situation right now. It's like that. We are prison like I was prison in base camp. We can just we can just make the best out of it and see the chances and work on the things um, which is suddenly opening us new perspectives and prepare ourselves for the time afterwards. I wish you guys all the best and take care for you and your families and um, see you hopefully soon. All the best. Enjoy the view. Be very nice. See you later.